All right, so let's look at one more example in 5.4. Um, so we're continuing with expected value. Um, we're going to look at expected value of this game called roulette. Um, casinos love expected value because that's how they make sure they're going to win money and not you. Um, so roulette is basically a random... Um, a random number generator in a way. Um, so we'll see in the thing below, we're gonna have a ball spin around a wheel. So let's look at it because some of us have probably never seen it. So here's roulette. Um, we're just gonna like randomly spin it and it'll land on, a ball will land on one of these numbers. And so sometimes people bet on numbers or they bet on even or odd. Um, we're gonna look at color bets because that's one of the more common ones. You bet on red versus black. And they pay you, so if you bet a dollar, they pay you a dollar. If you bet five dollars, they pay you five dollars if you win. Um, so the issue though, the way the casino wins the money is with these two green ones if you don't notice them. And that's what makes the odds no longer 50-50. So it kind of messes everything up for you as the gambler, but it helps the casino. So there's 38 total numbers on this wheel. If you want to count, you can. Um, two of them are green, you can see quickly. Um, and if you were to count, um, red and black have 18 each. So that's what roulette is. It's a really good example of probability because it is just like random chance where that ball lands. So let's go back to the example. Um, so we're gonna actually have our variable rather than be a number on the wheel, it's gonna be our winnings. So my variable is gonna be the net winnings, which is X. So if we bet a dollar on red, that means we want red to win. We get a dollar if it hits red. So that's why I put one for red. Um, but if we bet a dollar on red and then green or black shows up, right, we lose. So that's why black and green, I put negative one because we're losing our dollar. So that'll be my variable here, our net winnings. So net winnings means positive if you win, negative if you lose. Um, we're going to go ahead and put probability in that second column like we've been doing. So we can get those from the numbers I showed you below. Red was 18 out of 38. Black was 18 out of 38, and then green was the remaining two. And I'll calculate these in the last column. We don't really need them right now. But if you want to check, make sure they add up to one. That's how we know we got them all. Yep, they add up to one. All right, and then the mean was the sum of the x times p of x's which means we're gonna find x times p of x and then find the total at the bottom. So one times 18 over 38, it's just four, seven, three, seven, we round up to seven. Um, negative one times 18 over 38, you technically don't need your calculator. It's the same number but negative, but if you're not sure, there you go. Four, seven, sorry, I'm looking at two things. Four, seven, three, seven, same exact number. And then we'll do the last thing. Um, so negative one times two over 38, we get negative 0 0.0526. And then if we add these up, what I notice without using my calculator is that the first two cancel out and make zero. So the sum is actually just negative 0 0.0526. But if you didn't see that, you could check that. 4737 plus negative 4737 plus negative 0526. Yep. See? And so this is where the issue happens for you, and it's good for the casino. That net winnings is negative, meaning you're going to lose if you keep playing. Right, anything, the whole point of probability is anything can happen one time, right? But if you keep playing, you're going to lose. So that, let's look at the interpretation. So this is the expected value, um, is very much a measurement of the center or average, right? We already know that. But it, the main idea is it's indicating what will happen in the long run. So you can go and bet on red and win and get really excited, but you're just going to keep playing until the casino's winning. Um, so after playing many rounds of roulette, we would expect, and then are we expecting to win or lose? Yeah, I'm leaning towards lose because of the negative. And then what are we losing? We're losing five cents on average, but what does that mean? That's like per round, so. And these are only dollar bet rounds, right? So if you're making bigger bets, this number is gonna get bigger. 
Um, so most of you aren't going to play one round, right? And you're not going to lose five cents in one round, right? But on average, you are. So let's say you played 100 rounds. Oops. 100 rounds times the average of 0.05. How much have you lost? $5, which isn't too bad. But in the bigger scale, the casino is banking on, right? It's not just you playing. It's not just you making dollar bets, right? There's lots of people making dollar bets. And a lot of these people are making bigger than dollar bets. Um, so let's say they get like, what? A thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand a day, and that's really low. That's already five thousand dollars, and that's again on dollar bets. Most people are making ten dollar bets or twenty dollar bets. So if we change this to ten dollar bets, basically it just turns into ten times 0 0.05. So you're losing like fifty cents per round, right? And then you pay play a hundred rounds, and now you're losing fifty dollars, right? And then this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the casino is just banking on lots of people losing this, and it adds up really fast for them. Um, but yeah, the idea is, is again, these are long-run averages. So it's not one game, but they're, we're hope, the casino is hoping you sit there and play lots and lots of rounds. Um, I hope this helped with expected value. I'll see you back for 5-5. Five, five.